everyone. In today's Daily Dose by SMCB, we are here again with Dr. Irene Lee, consultant dermatologist who will be sharing about face mask allergy. So Dr. Irene, we've heard some skin conditions caused by face mask allergy. What exactly causes this allergy? Alright, now face mask allergy are basically in general not just allergy, face mask related rash. There are a few things that can happen with uh, the skin with a frequent use of face masks. Of course, this does not happen to everybody. Just a small proportion of people may have this issue. So in general, there are a few things that can happen. First of all, in patients with sensitive skin, they already have a sensitive skin, and when they don't on face masks for frequent face masks and uh, for a long period of time, they see that their face allergy got worse. That's the first thing. So second scenario is that people who does not have any face allergy before or after the use face masks, they begin to find rashes underneath the area that is in contact with the face mask. Areas that are not in contact with face masks are spared. That's the second type. And the third type of uh, patients will be those who find that they develop acne eruption over the area that is in contact with the face mask. So these are the three main things that can happen with face masks. So first of all, we address back the first issue. So sensitive skin. So patients with sensitive skin, they tend to have face rash, which is red and itchy and even dry. And these conditions are usually exacerbated by friction and as well as hot weather. So when we don't on the face mask, the area that is in contact with the face mask tends to have friction with the face mask. So that friction group can exacerbate uh, underlying allergy. Secondly, this face mask also uh, provides an occluded area underneath. That will increase the temperature over the area. So the increased temperature is also probably one of the cause of a flare of the face allergy. So this patient will find that their rash will be over the area of contact of face mask. It will be dry, itchy and skinny. So second group of patients, like what I mentioned just now, are patients who does not have any face allergy before, and after they don't on face mask, they begin to develop this type of rash. This condition, again, is divided into two. First is like the first condition, so it's a contact allergy, so whereby they get red, itchy, dry skin underneath the face mask, over the skin, in direct contact with the face mask. Second group of patients, Right after, in fact, not right after, probably within a few hours of contact, they develop hives or what we call an urticaria over the area that is in contact with the face mask. This group of patients are lesser but may happen to certain group of patients. Thirdly, will be patients who develop acne over the area behind the face mask. So that is due to one, the occlusion, the prolonged usage of the face mask. And uh, this patient will get great swelling, uh, acne from eruption, we call it, with probably pus sometimes, and also they will get comedons. Comedons are black face and white face. So these are the three things. So what causes all this issue? For example, the contact dermatitis. There may be a few things over the face mask that may uh, make one person develop there are a lot of chemicals that are used to produce or to manufacture face masks. For example, for formaldehyde and etc. So they have found that certain face masks, some face masks may uh, contain certain allergens. And if that face mask contains that particular allergen, and that particular person has an underlying allergy to that substance, then he or she may develop the allergy. But this person, if they were to switch the brand, switch another kind of face mask that does not have that energy, then he may not experience the uh, contact dermatitis. That's one. Secondly, we also look at the things that is in the face mask. For example, some face masks may contain foams over some of the area, especially over the nose area, to cushion the uh, friction of the face mask with the skin. So to glue this area, some face masks may use adhesive. And that adhesive, some patients may be allergic to. So they may find that their 
uh, skin brush are more over the area where the adhesive is found. Thirdly, some of these straps, if you can see, these elastic straps, they are also allergens that can happen over this area. So if you unfortunately have an allergy towards elastic material, and that elastic material is found over the straps of the case mask, then you may also develop an allergy over the area that is compared to the strap. Other than that, some of this material can also be comedogenic or we call it uh, acne inducing. So that can also be the cause of the acne eruption below the area of the face mask. Okay, so if you find out that you have a face mask allergy, what should you do? Okay, first of all, um, in contact dermatitis, it is always avoidance. So if you can, don't put on face mask. For example, if you socially distance yourself, you stay at home, there's nobody around, there's no need for face mask, that will be the best condition. That means you eliminate the cause of the allergy, hence you eliminate the uh, exposure to the contact dermatitis. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Then you may think about using a gentle washer, uh, gentle wash to wash your face instead of something that is more dry or irritating. So that can calm the skin down a bit. Plus, Moisturize the area of fresh regularly to keep it moist and not dry that will help you in the healing process. If all these things fail, then you may have to see a doctor to see to get it treated before it gets worse. If your condition warrants a face mask, for example, you are in a crowd and you are having some flu or cough, in these instances, you need to don on the face mask. First, again, gentle cleanser, washing on your skin, Try to switch the type of face mask and see whether you have less allergy and do uh, see a doctor to see whether you can concurrently treat the condition. We also do not want you to go around without a face mask if you are sick or just because of the contact allergy. That's true too. Um, thank you so much for the information. And would you care to explain what type of face mask is suitable and recommended to use during this period? Like what all health authorities recommend, if you are healthy, then social distancing will be the preferred choice. You probably do not even need a face mask. And if you do need a face mask, the recommended face mask will be the three prime surgical face mask. This type of face mask, all right, um, with uh, three ply, three layers. And of course, it differs with the, uh, with the brand or with the type of face mask. Three ply face mask can come with this type of straps that tie behind your head, or it can be elastic ear loop as well. So this will be the recommended one for uh, the lay, the uh, layman and the puppy, mm -hmm. if you need one. Mm -hmm. How about the N95 one? N95 at the moment, we do not actually recommend for the public. Mm -hmm. We usually use it in the hospital setting. And uh, in fact, all these um, mask allergy are more well documented in the SARS pandemic in 2002 to 2004. And there are more reports of allergy with the N95 as well. Mm -hmm. And if you wear N95 before, you, I'm sure you agree with me, it's quite suffocating. I myself, if I wear this N95 for a long period of time, I find it very difficult to prove. So uh, my advice is the same as what the health authorities uh, advise as well. If you really need one because you are sick, then uh, the three pipe surgical mask will be the best choice for you. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Dr. Irene, for the insightful information about face masks. And I think that's all we have for today's Daily Dose by SMCV. And tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose by SMCV. Same time, same place, and different doctors. Thank you. Thank you, and stay safe again.